Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I know it has been a while since I have posted something on the channel. Uh, been very busy lately with many things but that doesn't matter. Uh, let's get back to watches. I'm going to present to you today a um, rather interesting piece, um, timekeeping piece. Uh, this is a Poliot uh, International made watch um, that has got a very interesting um, uh, mechanism inside it's a uh, manual wind um, 3133 uh, caliber um, gold plated um, which is not made anymore so pretty much whatever's on the market um, you're not gonna find them no more um, this uh, I'm gonna tell you some details about those later as well um, into who made them and um, what years and a tiny bit of history about it. I'm going to tell you also a bit of history about Poliot International, who they are, uh, how they came to um, do the watch manufacturing. But this piece in particular, um, this is made in uh, Germany uh, using the Russian mechanisms. Um, that's also Estrella, <coughs> I think. Uh, they are very similar with some Strela mechanisms also, uh, they share a lot of things in common. So this watch is made as a limited edition um, of 1000 only, this being number 363. Um, this was made to commemorate the um, anniversary edition of uh, Mikhail Gorbachev. For those of you who don't know who uh, Gorbachev was, um, Obviously, this is um, history presented from my eyes. Um, I think he was one of the greatest leaders that uh, the world has ever had. Um, he was the one who pretty much gave up on the Soviet Union um, back in 1990, if I'm correct. Um, many people hate him, many Russians hate him, many uh, people living in the West uh, United States, Great Britain and some other countries as well. Um, they actually appreciate the work that he has done. Uh, I think he is also Nobel Prize winner for peace. Um, prize given by the United Nations, if I'm correct. So this watch is um, pretty much an anniversary edition dedicated to Mikhail Gorbachev. Um, if I'm correct, I think the watch was made in 2001. So it is now over 22 years old. Uh, filming this video in uh, 2023. Um, to get back to the mechanism itself, um, to tell you a bit about the 3133, it's um, in the 70s, this, the Valio had a factory that was making pretty much very similar mechanism, the chronograph caliber 7734 for the USSR. This one is slightly different than, than that one, but many of the parts are exactly the same because what they did, they actually sold the mechanism, Valio sold it to, to the Russians. Um, sold to the Russians and um, from 1970 something, 1970 precisely I think, uh, the Poliot started to, to build this mechanism 3133 based on the value 7734. Slightly different but pretty much using the same parts as the, the machines that were making the parts were exactly the same. Um, now this one has a dome screen uh, which was sapphire i'm not sure it is no more now because it was cracked at some point and i know for sure that on this piece it has been changed uh, it's got a chronograph function um, obviously um, and it's got this very beautiful um, back opening to show you the beauty of the the inside. Um, from what I understood, the company that sold these pieces, uh, they don't have any more. So all the thousand, um, one, all 1000 pieces were sold and they are now in private collections, uh, one of them being mine. I have no idea where the others are, so if you have one of those and you are um, 
the owner just uh, dropped me a message. So at least I would know who else uh, on the planet has got one of those pieces. That would be interesting. And to get back to the watch history and everything. So um, Poliot was um, one of those very strange companies. Russia has um, made watches starting from somewhere in the 30s. Um, when Joseph Stalin said that let's build watches pretty much and um, they purchased a lot of uh, machinery and stuff from the American companies I um, uh, will tell you exactly which ones of them I think they bought the Ansonia clock company from Brooklyn New York and they shipped all the machinery from the USA to Moscow just to, to make up the factory. So pretty much all the machinery and everything, they were um, Swiss American and, and they were just shipped to Russia where they built the factories. And they started in their originally known as the first state watch factory. And I don't think the Polyod was the only one that they were making that. The factory was pretty much making uh, all the watches, all the Russian watches under different names, I think, Raketa, maybe one of them, uh, Pobeda, um, Polio, and, and some others as well. So that's pretty much the history of uh, of Polio and Russian Russian working companies. Um, so they are originally American companies that sold everything to the Russians. They purchased them and they started making the watches. Um, they're not making bad watches, to be fair. I mean, this one is running on to uh, um, in a range of 14 to 20 seconds uh, per day which is actually very good for a for a mechanical watch um, but then again they are not being made no more this one has got a stamp also um, for a mac time that's how this one was called the mac time 31 33 mac time and somewhere inside i'm i'm not going to be able to zoom on this one uh, but i can make some pictures if you want so literally next to the balance wheel somewhere in there there is like a very very tiny uh mark um, made by mac time so they have made them for about 20 years or so and they completely stopped making them so those are let's say not not yet rare but you won't find them no more the same because they are not being made no more so um so if you have one of them then uh, know for sure that it's not being made no more and um, your watch is uh, somehow um more valuable i would say for for some collectors that would would be looking probably in the future if it's still working and you have everything original they might be uh they may become collectible it's a fairly fairly thick watch so it's a it's very big um, it stands out also i don't know in what environment you will be wearing it but i would advise not wearing it at work because it's going to be very easy to bang it and to side walls or, or other objects and and then you may um, end up with cracks or scratches or things um, the watch is very beautiful it's keeping time outstandingly you got in there the Mikhail Gorbachev you have the date now to talk about the date I have made a few videos um, I think I think pretty much all the Russian uh, watches they have a slightly tricky way to adjust the date so you literally have to adjust the time until you pass the midnight uh, once the date is going to change then you go back one hour two hours and then again forward and then again backwards and forward until uh, you're going to get the correct date on the on the watch it's not easy to set and especially if you have a collection with with um, more than one watch so you say you don't wear it for more than a week in a row um, it's not the nicest thing to do to just like start and set the date go past midnight and if you have to go like 20 days then uh, you're gonna spend some time uh, setting the date this is one of the tricky things with those watches but nonetheless a very beautiful charming dial um, it's got a russian flag in there um cccp in there um, from the russian federation uh, tiny emblem from poliot on the
on the clubs. Um, not sure what else I should mention. Maybe the name polio, which pretty much uh, means flight in in Russian. So um, that's where they came with the idea. This crown, I must admit, I love it. I love the shape of it. It's like um, I don't know some of those the church thingies in Russia. So I pretty much I like that quite a lot in there. Um, Beautiful watch again. Uh, the company that sold them to give you an idea of the price, I think they were um, set at about 900 euros for the last for the last uh, last ones they had. Um, probably they weren't as expensive as when they first launched the the special edition, the limited edition. And they increased the price later uh, when they had only a few pieces in their collection. Now I have no idea how much you can sell one of those or you can purchase one of those for because I have not seen them on the market. Um, check Chrono24, I checked some other websites, it's, uh, it's unavailable. So you can't really buy it no more. Um, and this is this is the watch. I'm. Uh, pretty much enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, but since I have quite a few watches in my collection, it doesn't get as much wrist time as I would, I would, as I would like to. So, this being it, um, I'm gonna film another video because I have another watch. Um, I'm gonna make a video which may seem a bit strange, although not entirely. I'm gonna make a video for Seiko, cocktail time. But this one is going to be a lady one, so um, my wife just purchased one for herself and um, it's, it's fairly big, my wrist being very tiny, I didn't measure it, but it's like very skinny, um, so I should be able to fit it in quite nicely and just to make a presentation, as we all know there are now uh, plenty of men that do wear um, uh, ladies watches and that one is not the tiniest, so I'm just going to put it on and, uh, and show you uh, how it looks like and give you some other details. So if you enjoyed the video uh, guys, please do subscribe to my channel Give us a comment a, um, a Like and also I don't mind any uh, if someone would like to criticize or to correct me if any of the information is wrong Please do comment drop me a message. Uh, I wouldn't mind at all any uh, constructive critics I wish you a very good day